Ben's employers got paid as compensation for sabotage. Now they claim they had to ditch the whole mine and all the equipment inside and construct a new mine with new equipment. <laughs> they were reimbursed for all of it. It seems that the mining company got a huge payout after they won the case against Irvin. We have the settlement paperwork from their insurance. Tons of money. Oh, also the cyber runner had to move on to other work, but sent me a passcode to some computer system. I'm not sure what it goes to yet. We can just hold on to it until we figure it out. But anyway, we have enough to move forward. The missing piece here is proven that Irvin was framed. So I discovered that Irvin's original lawyer still practices law. And she'll look over everything we found. Irvin's case was her first case, she said. She always hated how it ended. And she's now got two decades of experience behind her for a rematch, too. Oh, detective. I like the sound of that. If I'm the detective, does that make you my trustworthy and sensible partner with a heart of gold? <laughs> Damn right we are. <laughs> We're both detectives. Anyway, we should take everything to the lawyer and see what she says. Maybe she reviews it and decides we have no case, or we need more evidence. I don't know. If we don't have a case, I can probably let it go. But I have to try. Oh, yep. I've got a key card for it. But I don't know what condition it's in. It's been 20 years, but I got the ventilation and power turned on, so I think it's safe. Fantastic. I knew I could count on you. You're as reliable as an atomic clock. I've sent a list of everything we've found so far to the lawyer of Gagarin. You know, I, I actually feel optimistic about this. Lead the way, detective. When you have a few moments, there's something I'd like to discuss. Now that we have a moment, I wanted to ask how you're feeling. After your experience at the temple, you've given everyone at the lodge quite a scare. Why am I concerned? Hmm. Let's think for a moment. Ah, yes. It isn't exactly an everyday occurrence to stumble across a mysterious temple and absorb some type of strange alien energy from within. Mm, I find that to be rather surprising. According to what I've heard, your body absorbed an almost unquantifiable amount of energy of a type we can't even begin to understand. We're dealing with something unknown to modern science. Who knows how this encounter has affected your body? Or your mind. <sighs> Although I don't know the exact nature of the energy you absorbed, I'm fairly certain it means you no harm. I don't have any scientific data to back that up, so you'll just have to trust my intuition. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Hmm. <sighs> I know you're simply trying to brush this off with humor, but you really should act more concerned. <laughs> that temple proves we're dealing with entities of unknown origin. The problem is that we can't even begin to guess what their intention was towards us and where they've gone. I love you, Zelda. You're such a good girl. Perhaps that's true, or perhaps you were simply quite lucky. It's just that... Oh, I'm afraid that we're flying almost completely blind here. 
All we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Anything else is just guesswork. I might as well put on a blindfold and toss darts at theories written on the wall. As far as constellations concerned, you're the first human we're aware of that's ever encountered one of these places. Now, whether you consider that lucky or not, that's another matter entirely. Oh, believe me, this is positively exhilarating. Think about the significance of this research. The questions it raises alone are mind-boggling. Who was this wondrous structure built to accommodate? How long ago did these entities inhabit our universe? Are they still out there? Somewhere? Yes, exactly. Now you understand why it's imperative that we solve this puzzle. <laughs> it's funny. I used to think the artifacts so were the end all be all of scientific discovery, the pinnacle mystery of our time. Never in my wildest dreams did I imagine it would lead to something of this magnitude. I just hope that you'll come through this, whatever it is, unharmed. <laughs> well, thank you. Look, I've already taken up too much of your time. All I can do is promise that I'm not going to make you deal with this mystery alone. Whatever might be happening, I'll be right here to help you every step of the way. Okay, so... Take off from Neon. Take... Barrett to Garrigan. self-absorbed tools. Why didn't you say so? Tell us, please. What are the artifacts? What are they for? Did you make them? What gives you more right to them than humanity? Answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow. Abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it. Output from that ship is far above the normal range. 
If we spin up the grab drive now, we have a chance. Surrender the artifact. Or grab jump to anywhere. We'll get through this. Hold on. chemicals and smoke. I was just thinking that this is about what Irvin saw all those years ago when he arrived. He probably stood here thinking that he was going to make things better. He had a good heart. We need to reopen the case. See if there's anything that was overlooked the first time. We've done some legwork remotely, but we need to do some good old-fashioned investigating now. Hopefully it will be enough to clear Irvin's name. Oh, you remind me of him sometimes. Wanting to make things right. And when you said it out loud, you know, I actually believe we can do it. I just hope our lawyer is as confident. Ellie Yankton. She worked on Irvin's previous case. Ellie is one of the few lawyers on this planet who's willing to take on the mining corporations in court. I sent that to our lawyer already. I asked her to confidentially review what we found. Yes, but listen. Nobody will stand up against the mining corporations around here. They're scared. She didn't want to lose the case, but she didn't have a lot to go on. Thanks to us, now she does. Okay, let's go talk right. to her. She said she would meet us at our office when we arrive. 
Hopefully she can tell us what we need to do in order to clear Irvin's name. Let's stick together, though. Gagarin isn't a huge town, but it's not the kind of town that I want to get lost in. I hate it when you walk away screen. Well, well, well. Barrett, you're actually here. Astounding. Ellie! Ellie, come on. I promised we'd stop by, didn't I? Mm, people make promises all the time, Barrett. And most folks try to avoid Gagarin, not visit it. Anyway, I'm glad you made it out here. We have work to do, don't we? It's not a resort. It's a working town run by mining corporations. You don't come here unless you need to, and you don't stay unless you have to. Or unless you're a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer who genuinely wants to make things better for others. Right, Ellie? <laughs> you're kind, Barrett. Yes, I suppose there's that type of person as well. Yes. It was my first case, as a bright-eyed, optimistic lawyer. Well, starting your career with a defeat is rough, Ellie. <sighs> it was. But in a way, it made me more determined. Not exactly, but similar cases. A corporation commits a crime and needs a scapegoat, so they select someone powerless to target. The quintessential Gagarin tale. Indeed down to business. Perfect. What do you already know? So we already know that Irvin worked for Hephaestus Mining Company years ago, and they blamed him for catastrophic economic and ecological issues here on Gagarin. Yes. He lost his case because he didn't defend himself, and we had almost no evidence without him. I recall receiving a message asking him to appear in court a day after his funeral. An unfortunate reality of interplanetary legal communiques, I'm afraid. He was publicly blamed for the economic woes and his accounts were seized in compensation. His account on Gagarin specifically. It was just the amount he was paid years ago for the job. Right. They would have taken his assets and other settlements, but by law, his death prevented it. Well, we can bring the case to a judge here if we have new evidence or a witness. What about the evidence we've found so far? Yes, well, about that. It's just not enough. Not on its own, no. It's circumstantial. Helpful to support our claim, but not enough. Best case scenario, we clear his name and his assets are returned, plus additional compensation. In order for me to go before a judge, I'd like to have some solid evidence pertaining to motive. The courts won't entertain a challenge to its ruling unless we're sure that something major was missed in the original trial. What was the motive from the original trial? We had no solid motive after our witness withdrew his testimony. Yeah, we need something major. Documentation, recordings, a witness, something. It's been so long. How could we find anything like that? I've thought about this a lot since the original case. The mine that Irvin worked at was shuttered in 2309. 
They probably still have documents relating to whatever happened there with him. Not necessarily. To Hephaestus, it might be cheaper.